Hey, this is Naltzer, and we continue our achievement hunting. We are now looking at the British. The British cruiser line is the target audience for this particular achievement. The achievement is British Invasion. Do 50,000 damage. You need, you need tier 5 to tier 10 British cruiser. So that seems like child's play for a Minotaur, right? Um, yeah. That is a joke. 50,000 damage. It doesn't have to be... A combination of main battery and torpedoes. Oh no, just 50,000 damage and you can have access to one of the collections. Now I was trying to exploit the fact that that enemy destroyer was, you know, out in the open. Minotaur is great at killing DDs. But clearly he hid in smoke, like the cheating bastard he is. And he sent torpedoes my way. <laughs> Which I swore I avoided, but clearly you didn't. Just get good at dodging torpedoes, not sir, okay? I had Hydra up and everything. What can I say? I popped my smoke because there's just too much fire coming down. I was like, oh my god. How are we going to get 50,000 at this point? Yeah, yep. You can always tell if a player is frustrated with an aspect of their game. They'll zoom in on it. They'll show you exactly where they're frustrated. <laughs> so the enemy is still there. We still have Hydro for 40 seconds, and I'm still looking. How dare you? Someone is actually firing at my smoke. I'm still looking for a potential target to exploit with this beautiful rate of fire. Again, 50,000. 50,000 is nothing at high tier for the Brits. This cannot be accomplished in the British battleships. I just want to forewarn anyone who thinks, oh, uh, I can get 50,000. No. It has to be the British cruiser line. Enemy Yamato showing a ton of side, so I'm gonna fire him. Now, initially I started out big salvos, and then I'm gonna be all, you know, cheeky. I'm gonna be like, eh, let me just hold down the fire and just ease that puppy out, yeah. Well, you know, the bad thing about this is it really does show the location that he could hit, and he unloads a shot, and, of course, a single shell disperses into my ship, causes a citadel, and I'm going, what? I can never get that lucky firing at people in smoke, but everyone can get lucky to me, and we get very fortunate. This Benson loses his smoke, and he dies very quickly. Very, very quickly. And I try to fire at the enemy, Kagido, but Friendly Fletcher's already done that. So, we've, we're, we're almost there, 35,000, you know, I mean, God, I just can't express 50,000 damage in a British cruiser is a joke. It's a joke! Because you can sit in smoke and you can harass someone who's sailing broadside to you and they can't do anything. Because you're in smoke, damn it! You are breaking the rules, you're not supposed to be invisible and you're supposed to do something other than that. What can I say? I'm breaking rules here for these achievements. And another rule that's being broken is the friendly Missouri decided to push forward in front of a Minotaur in smoke. Yeah. I think we all know what's going to happen. I don't really care because he's going to die. I decided to fire at that Fletcher who I think he reversed into the island. And we're doing a little bit of damage. So, yeah, he's going to have to move out of the area, and, yeah, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to accidentally bump into you, I think. Oh, my God, he's firing over my body. <laughs> I remember watching it, and I'm going, ah! The fire. The graphic is so intense, isn't it? It just covered my ship. But, you know, it's it's my bad. It's, it's not his bad. And I, I, I'm not going to blame anyone but myself. The enemy Fletcher is still spotted and still out in the open. And that Minotaur, that is one of the camos that I believe you get for the anniversary. I think it just it's given to you. You don't actually get a premium dedicated camo for the Minotaur. I just want to make sure you understand that. You know, like, where'd that camo come from? That's from just playing the game. The camo that we are seeking is going to be for all time. And this enemy, Bismarck, shown a ton of side. I find a window where I'm not spotted. I really like doing that in my Brit. I'm almost considering 
whether I could get away with this. But then I remember that Ocean exists and it would suck ass to have to rely on, you know, someone else popping smoke. I mean, yes, people would do that. I guess, I guess, yeah, some people are nice. But the radar is, is cool. But God, having smoke allows you to do so much more damage. And speaking of damage, there we go. Fabulous Fuse. Don't know what that has to do with the British, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's the medal that you're working, uh, achievement, sorry, that you're working towards. And again, it's one of those nice ones that tells you straight up when you earn it. And there you go. The rest of the game is yours to have. I noticed that the enemy Minotaur is potentially moving forward into, I think, what, what it looks like friendly or enemy smoke. He's going to try and reclaim it or reuse it. And by the time I recognize this, I, I moved a little bit too far fast. I got out of the smoke, and I'm going to send my torpedoes now. Very, very careful. I'm going to tell my friend, Care Des Moines, Care Des Moines. I'm going to target him and, you know, target, 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 spam, cover, cover. I think it, I think it ends up working just fine. He gets the attention. Then, okay, okay. I get it. You send torpedoes. I just... I just really don't want him dying, right? You don't want to see your friend die. So the Minotaur camping in the smoke. And I'm going to fire where I see the fire originating from. Hoping to force him to do something. And there are my torpedoes. And I was like, okay. Well, clearly he's going to move back. And I, I think he hasn't moved back. I think he's just stationary. I think my torpedoes are going to cut right in front of him. And I'm like, where the hell is he? Surely he's not going to move forward. Surely he's going to just keep backing up. That's what I would assume. And yeah, yeah, he keeps moving back here. I keep keep seeing shots on the target. And I, I can't figure out where he is now. I, I assume, ah, surely he's, he's, he's gone, right? Maybe he turned and ran, or he's backing up, and we all know the British backup is slow as molasses. But no, no. The premium wielding Minotaur move forward into B or into A. Into B. God, I got to my glasses. Uh, into B. And uh, he died. Just like that. Who would have guessed that? Going into a point that has coverage from, you know, six or seven ships. I would have guessed he would have died there. <laughs> Enemy Bismarck shows himself. Edinburgh is there as well. I am. Absolutely wide open. Three, four enemy ships. I pop my smoke, and I'm going to continue the barrage. I don't know if the friendly was going for the ram. It looked like the ram. Either way, he shoves in the shells, and up. We take another big citadel, another big damage. Stop shooting me! Okay, well, the Edinburgh has hidden himself in the smoke. I could leave my smoke, but then a savior shows himself. The enemy Yamato. Potential target. Is he really Potato Chip 2017? Really? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for him to get a little bit outside of the island so I can actually see him to fire on, and then I'm just gonna go to town on him. It's two to two base wise, and we have the advantage on kills, so we don't have to do anything. We don't have to press at all. We just have to weather whatever storm might be coming. And uh, Edinburgh, why'd you show yourself right as, literally right as the Yamato is showing himself, you show yourself too. So I can't maximize my opportunity here. I have to decide who do you want to shoot at? Do you want to shoot at the enemy Yamato that's much slower? Or do you want to shoot at the massive Edinburgh that's wide open? Yeah, clearly I'm going for the guy that can die very quickly. I think it'll take a long time to kill the Yamato. And the Edinburgh is gone again. So, we're going to continue. I do earn Confederate, which is cool. You know, not that I'm trying to do that. I'm just trying to rack up damage and get kills. Enemy Yamato. I think he is actually distracted because that island is coming up really fast for him. And it doesn't look good for him. It kind of looks like... He's going to run right into it, right? Doesn't, isn't that what it looks like? 
I think that's exactly what he's going to do. And I want to punish him. So I'm just double checking. Is there anyone who could see me? No. Everyone who could see me is behind an island. Go. Cool. So we're just going to just keep up the fire. And we're not going to set fires, but we're going to keep up the fire. Now, not sir, what if I don't have a tier 10 British cruiser? I think British cruisers are pretty easy to do 50,000 damage because they have smoke. I don't think you're gonna have any trouble unlocking this achievement. You can use your torpedoes too. You know, if you get a really good torpedo attack, that's 50,000 right there. So I wouldn't be discouraged by this particular mission. It's it's not, I mean, uh, I mean, achievement, it's not a mission. It's not, it's not crazy. Now, I did notice something. You notice that enemy cruiser enemy monitor is also moving into B point so I'm trying to maximize the time I don't need to pop my smoke but I will absolutely be popping my smoke so the enemy doesn't see me and can we kill this guy before I have to pop smoke uh, no no he's gonna be in line of sight I pop my smoke friendlies burn the target down contributing my damage it feels pretty bad when you run your battleship into an island right yeah and looks like the Minotaur wants to run his ship into an island. And unfortunately for him, I have the perfect shot on him. So, yeah. This is not going to be difficult at all. The only difficulty could stem from maybe him not being detected by my team. Who's to say, really? Looks like he's, he's not particularly liking that I'm firing on him. I would understand this line of thinking. But... I cannot hold my fire because I want him to die. And he's another premium Minotaur. I guess it's a fun ship. And I guess people want to make sure that they can play tier 10s whenever they want. I'm just surprised at the amount of Minotaurs with premium camo. You don't see that kind of premium camo on a Yamato. Or even a Gorosukua first. Or any number of battleships. But I see more Minotaurs with premium than pretty much any other tier 10. I'm trying to think, is there a tier 10 premium camel that I see more? I can't really think of it. So yeah, he's trying to line of sight. Clearly, teammates see him. He, he's not getting out of there. I don't know if he has smoke or doesn't have smoke, but he, he's wide open. There's nothing he can do. It's just, can we kill him before the game ends? And I don't know that we can, and then, oh... Thankfully, or unfortunately, a teammate dies, which will allow me the opportunity to do massive damage, and we miss out on the kill. The Des Moines takes him out. Looks like there will not be an opportunity to kill another target. The only two remaining are very far away. So, we just got British Invasion. 50,000 damage done. Pretty easy-peasy achievement. I believe this was the achievement I needed to unlock... Camouflage for... Oh, God. What was it? Not Z-23. Not Charles. Not New Orleans. The Kiev. I think this was the Kiev one. This was attached to the, the premium Kiev. And we did great. Uh, again, high-tier ships. Great credit income. I could min-max it by putting the credit flag on the ship. We did top, you know, XP earned. Teammate Minotaur did also a fantastic job. Can't complain. Set out to get 50,000. That's what we got. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time.